Hey everybody, it's Anna. Time for the Tuesday card in this week's tarot story. So today we have the Five of Swords reversed. So the number five is connected to conflict or challenge and swords are connected to the mind. So they're about ideas and beliefs and strategies as well as communication. So when this card shows up, you can see their scene is sort of a, it's a sort of a stormy scene. The sky doesn't look very happy. It lets you know something not too ha creative or helpful is happening right here. We have this guy who's on this beach. He's got a sword. He's also got other swords. So it's almost as though he's been challenging people. He's been winning his fights. He looks pretty smug, pretty proud of himself. Um, so he thinks he's doing something meaningful. He's enjoying his victories. Um, but you have these two people who are walking away. They've set their swords on the beach and they're walking away. So when you look at this card, um, because the scene is so stormy, there is this idea that, that this guy thinks he's accomplishing something, but it's not a happy scene. It's not a productive or creative scene. And that tells us the challenge point here is that the mind has to know when to walk away. Um, the mind can get very attached to its own ideas and beliefs and principles to the point that it calls those beliefs or those strategies truth, calls it the right way, gets very judgmental about it. And when the mind gets that attached to things, it wants to fight with anybody that challenges that. That's what's happening here. There's a challenge happening because two minds are seeing things differently and they want to fight over who's got the right perspective. And in the end of the day, um, even if you fight all the way to the death and someone finally concedes, well, if you die, I guess you concede. <laughs> even if somebody finally concedes or gives up, you haven't accomplished anything because the minds are arguing over things that don't exist in the real world. They're just structures in the mind. So nothing is being accomplished here. So the, the solving this challenge is represented by these two guys. They're just walking away. Their minds go, you know what? This is not going to get me anywhere. There's no point to this. I set down the sword and leave. I'll go put my energy somewhere where, um, where real things can happen. So that is the accomplishment. That's the meaning of this challenge is catching that hook and catching the mind before it falls into this pattern and just argues itself to death. And instead just says, there's, there's, there's more productive things to do. I'm going to leave this aside. Also, there's a, a C here. So the C represents intuition. And the C shows up in the sword trajectory often when this, the mind needs some support. So the intuition saying, hey, this is not fun. This is not interesting. We're not getting any, nothing at the end of the day is going to be accomplished this way. Let's just let this go. And these people represent the minds that are willing to walk away. So the reversal here might suggest that we are being tempted into getting stuck in this challenge. And the reason I say that is because yesterday we had the Hermit card, which is about that moment when we're just about to surface this gift or about to cross into this powerful transformation. The Hermit calls us to walk away from the world, to go to a place of solitude so we can really surface our own intuitive wisdom and hear, hear our magic and really own it and, and change the world through our blessing. But the challenge, the temptation of that card is that we decide not to do that. We decide not to pull away, not to make the space. And so the gift that's just on the verge of emerging goes back under. And this is a great way to get us distracted <laughs> because if you're, um, you're on the verge of like, producing this magic, you're ready to go into the woods or into a cave to do the hermit work and to bring it up. And then someone makes some kind of argument. And instead of going into the woods, you stop and you want to argue that you want, you give your attention to that. Your mind gets hooked into this momentum of a, of a challenge that doesn't get you anywhere. All your energy gets lost. You get pulled, totally pulled out of your, your intuitive wisdom and out of that flow. And now you're in this battle of the minds, which leaves you exhausted and angry and frustrated and gets you nowhere. So be mindful of this hook as you are doing the hermit's work. Do not fall for it. It is a trick of the mind and the mind it can be a trick of your mind even because the mind is a little bit nervous about what you're going to surface. The hermit is the nine card just before the thing emerges. And um, the mind knows that once the magic emerges, you're really going to be stepping into new territory, into the unknown. So the mind has, uh, the mind's very clever and it has a way of finding ways to distract us. This would be the way the mind is trying to distract you. Before you go into the woods, let's, let's straighten out this person. Let's, let's nail home our perspective. Let's, let's take on this argument. Argument. But if it does that, if it gets you to pause, if it gets you to not just distance yourself from others and, and it'll be, it'll be able to blank out the intuition's voice and you'll have to kind of back up and, and your work and, and kind of start over again. So be mindful that your mind might try to distract you, might try to tell you this is very important. Getting our point across is very important. Um, but remember, these are just ideas. They're not real things. They're constructs in the mind and they are tools 
which are only helpful in as much as they accomplish what they're supposed to accomplish. When the tools become truth or reality, we got a problem. See you tomorrow for our next card. Bye.